Hi guys, this is Anna and today I'm going to be talking to you about a very valuable lesson that I've learned while living here in Colombia. Now I've been here for around nine months now and I'm really glad that I've stayed here this amount of time or a longer period of time rather than just like one month or two months or three months or something because otherwise I wouldn't have actually learnt this lesson. And why is that? Because the things I'm going to describe to you and the valuable lesson that I've learned is something that drove me absolutely crazy when I first arrived here. And then, but over time, I realized that um, like I need to accept it and I've come to actually appreciate it and live by it by being here this long period of time. So what is the lesson that I have learnt? It is not to stress over the small things. Yes, and I know people say this all the time and you know, people say don't stress, don't stress and things like that. And yes, maybe I would have learnt it while living in Australia as well, but I think to actually live by it and actually understand it, like I would have needed to do meditation for 10 years straight every single day for one hour each day or something. But being in Colombia, I've been able to learn learn it just naturally living here every single day. So I grew up in Australia and I also um, I have a Japanese mother and an Australian father. So in my house, it was all about both of these cultures put together and mixed together because I was born in Japan, I lived there for a couple of years and I visited family and friends over there many times so I know that culture very well. And both Australia and Japan are very developed countries and things just work, right? So, you know, anything you want to do in a day, like if you're going to meet up with a friend or if you go to the bank, things just work. Things just run smoothly. But in contrast, in Colombia, things are very frustrating. Things just don't work or not all the time, but a lot of the time things just don't work or things just take so much longer than, than expected and because Colombia is a developing country. So which one do you think lives a more stressful life? Australia and Japan being a developed country or Colombia a developing country with many frustrations? Which one is more stressed out? You would guess Colombia but the actual answer in my opinion are the Australians and the Japanese. They live with lots of stress in their lives. Now First, I want to give you examples of what I mean. So, the frustrations when I first arrived here and when many foreigners first arrive here in Colombia, the many frustrations that they experience are many. People don't arrive on time. People cancel at the last minute. Um, trains or buses don't arrive. Don't arrive on time or just don't arrive. Um, you know, loud music at night. Things are just cancelled at the last minute, you don't get into things, um, so, and the banks, it's impossible to get a doctor's appointment. Um, to go to the bank, you need to line up in this massive line that has no order kind of thing. So these are the frustrations that I experienced, and it used to drive me nuts. And what would I do? I would just get like really freaked out and I would get stressed out. I'd be standing in line tapping my feet. I'd be like, oh my God, what's happening here? And I would get really frustrated. And then I kind of like stood back for a second and I looked at the other people in the line or other people doing the same thing that I was. And were they stressed out? Were they freaking out? No, they were able to avoid this stress. And why? Why? Well, so let me give you just another couple of examples. So for example, here in Colombia, I go to a hip hop class every week and the class is meant to start at 6 p.m. But the instructor pretty much every single time arrives around 6.15 or even 6.30. And so I'm there like, you know, a bit frustrated and things. But the other people, the other clients, you know, when he arrives, they're just so happy to see him. They give him a hug, big kiss on the cheek. You know, it's as if it hasn't bothered them at all. However, in Australia, I used to work at a gym and pool and on reception. And say, for example, if a class hadn't started or if the instructor hadn't arrived within the first 10 minutes, everyone would absolutely freak out 
we would be there stressing out why isn't the instructor here the the members of the gym would come to the reception desk complaining in writing as well as verbally so they would just like be so angry about it and just so stressed out about it you know when when the Colombians here they were just like oh okay fine he's here now you know and it just happens like that and here for example like neighbors put the music on really loud on weekends and sometimes even weeknights and I'm there in bed I'm like oh my god I want to sleep and I get freaked out and I stress out but like no one seems to really mind like I don't see people like yelling out on the street or something like that whereas in Australia the police would have been called several times by the neighbors around by several neighbors and the police would ask them to turn the music off or turn the music down or just you know stop the party and and so why why is this why is this you know um, you would think that the Colombian people having gone through like having a history of the guerrilla wars um, corrupt governments, drug trafficking, you know, low salaries and things just simply not working, you think they'd be really frustrated, but no, this is the thing. They've learned to deal with the stress by just like, you know, not letting it get to them because they want to enjoy life. And that's why they've been named the happiest people, the happiest country for 2013 and 2014, so two years in a row by Huffington Post because they're just really happy. And I can really see that because they enjoy all of their 20 public holidays that they have in the year. They also love going to the countryside in Colombia and enjoying the landscapes that their own country has to offer. And they always celebrate everything, celebrate birthdays, celebrate Christmas, New Year's, Halloween, any kind of celebration there is, they spend it with their loved ones and they have a big party, have a big celebration. And they spend all day celebrating. And this is really, really commendable. And this is just really amazing because you think with all of that, you know, huge stress upon the country, upon the people, you would think that they'd be like freaked out. But no, they've learned to enjoy the small things that life has to offer and not worry about things that just pop up that might st might stress an Australian out, but to them it's it's not a big deal at all. And I mean, for example, like in Japan, I mean, Japan is a very stressful country. I mean, you know, things work very well, like the trains arrive on time and the people are really organized and orderly, but are they really happy? Because in Japan, like in 2005 there was a train accident that killed like around 50 people and injured around 400 other people and why did it crash because the driver was stressed out and he was speeding because he was running 90 seconds late 90 seconds and there was huge punishment if he didn't arrive on time if a train or bus was arriving 90 seconds late here it would be like a celebration. It would be like arriving on time or even early. And so the standards in the developed countries have been set so high and people are like struggling to meet those standards. And so they're just stressing themselves out over it because they're scared to upset their bosses, upset their friends, upset their families, you know? But here it's just like very relaxed and everyone kind of understands as well. You know, if you're running 15 minutes late, it might not just be because you're lazy. It might be because you actually had something to do. You actually had something going on, you know, so, so don't be angry about that. So I think we can all learn something from the Colombian people and not stress over the small things. You know, we don't want to risk our lives like the train driver did to just impress someone. So I think we can all learn something from the Colombian people here and just not stress over the small things. I mean, yes, Australia and Japan, when you go there, things work smoothly. Things are just so easy. Life is easy. But is it worth risking your mental state over living at that standard? Like, it's a really high standard. You know, people are rushing to work, running, running along, you know, 
um, getting angry over things, whining over things, crying over things. You know, is it really worth it? So now, you know, obviously we know that this world is going through so many things. It's going through terrorism attacks, it's going through wars, civil wars or world wars, um, many diseases, many epidemics. And here we are complaining about bad customer service or whinging to someone about how someone arrived late and stressing ourselves over it. No, like we should just enjoy our lives, stop letting small things get to us. And in this way, we can all be happy people and live to the highest possible potential that we offer. So that is what I wanted to talk to you about today, that we should all learn from the Colombian people, from the happy country and, and just relax and keep calm. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or visit my blog at annatregellasmith.com.